Once again, I find myself heading to northern Minnesota, Lake Vermilion to be exact, for the 22nd annual Vermilion Dam Lodge Larry Ramsell outing. I have been involved with this outing for many of its 22 years, and for good reason. To fish a body of water that I absolutely love, and to see some good friends that have been a part of this event all these years. So you want to talk about service, this is service right here. Vermilion Dam Lodge has got it going on. Power wash your boat before it goes in because uh, a 14 mile gravel road to get in here. And uh, it was raining yesterday. So that's just a great feature that they have here. Everything that they do here is just top notch. Um, and I mean everything. And the fishing is fantastic. I've had some of my best uh, musky experiences up here on this body of water on Lake Vermilion. So, and uh, we got a bunch of people coming in for the Larry Ramsell outing. And uh, we're just dumping our boat in here and getting ready to get out on the water and hopefully stick some fish. much good to see you guys here we go Larry Ramsell outing it's been a long time a lot of years a lot of years man but uh sometimes that's good though yeah it's good right? new pattern right, right. We're not stuck in a rut uh-huh so day one was nothing more than a scouting mission Matt Seaford would jump in the boat with us for the day the weather was making it almost impossible to film in with some heavy rain and even heavier winds but it did give us some direction on where we wanted to start fishing the next day. Our plan was to start fishing weeds, fishing the outside weed edge and then working our way shallow, seeing if we could locate the fish and having them tell us if they were out on the outside weed edge or if they were buried in them. Damn! Let's check how big. All of 40 anyway. Should look at them filming. Mike was just planted. Yep, there it was, chit chat. We fished hard all that day, only to see some fish with no takers. And with the daylight running out, we decided to hit one more spot, a juicy weedy cove. Second, dude. Go back. I don't think she tasted the books. Pretty hard to 
hard to hit that without difficult. So good. Yeah. I had her pinned for a second, dude. I got smoked by what felt like a nice fish, throwing a Team Rhino Outdoors KO Custom Color Invader, Pinkaboo. Chad, seeing the action, well, he's no dummy. He decided to change up his bait presentation, and he put on a TRO KO Pinkaboo Trigger Bucktail. As a stylist, I know it can be hard to find time for a haircut. With the Great Clips app, you can put your name on the list from anywhere and head to the salon when it's time for your cut. A great haircut plus more time for what you love. That's Great Clips. For the past three years, KOTV has delivered some of the best Midwest outdoor programming with some of the best outdoor TV shows and YouTube channels, all for free. All you got to do is just download the KOTV app on all your Roku devices or go to kotvchannel.com and watch for free. Let's keep a good thing going, right? Six years and counting with the Keys Outdoors Musky Fishing Sweepstakes on your Quick Rewards app. You could win a day out on the water hunting muskies in a $100 Quick Trip gift card. And it's simple and easy. Download your Quick Rewards app, click the Sweepstakes trophy icon, select the Keys Outdoors Musky Hunting Adventure Sweepstakes, select the number of visits you'd like to enter, and you could win a day out on the water filming with Keys Outdoors. This is my new Skeeter WXR 2060F Musky Fishing Boat. This boat is designed to provide the highest level of performance and comfort while out on the water. Redesigned from the hull line up, giving this boat a sleek aerodynamic design, yet keeping the dependability, durability, and most of all, the stability of the WX 2060 hull. Yeah, this is my new WXR 2060F. The first fish that we got to bite ended up missing hooks. But if I've learned anything over the years of fishing Lake Vermilion, is if there's one, there's more. Keep casting. Look at that R, it was just a hammer. <laughs> I just hit it in the head with the hammer softly. <laughs> softly. <laughs> How big? Oh, I think 36. Maybe. Oh, there it is. Got him. Got him. Got him, buddy. Get it right on. Cool. Awesome. Good job, bud. Thank you. Thank you. How many hours for that? One. Uh, thirty-six. No. <laughs> so about twenty. A lot. A lot of hours. Tough fight. Well, not a tank, but we'll take it, right? Our first huh? our first one in the bag. We there lost one earlier. Kind of recap, Brian, what? Well, Mike had one earlier, right away in the morning, and then he missed one in the afternoon. It was a long day casting. Very windy, rainy, and we're just getting ready to end here, and I seen this one off on side imaging. Get it back in there. We turned the boat around, and we got him. Take that net other. Oops, just like that, gone. All right, little slime time. Right on, buddy. All right. What'd you catch that on? Peekaboo. 
Yeah, right here. Seven nine trigger. All right, let's go get another one. A little slime in the bag is always good. Right. Well, we might have a window here. Chad would only fish one day with us before having to leave for home. Bummer, man. He was really excited about fishing the next day with us, but when work calls, you have to go. that's been participating in this for years and all for the newcomers. And uh, I always start this off by thanking the people that's been able to help us make this happen for 20, this is our 22nd year. Uh, for, start, for starters, the guides. One thing I'll tell you about the guys, I was just discussing this with one of the guys here is, you know, to make this thing work, we always try to make it affordable, but provide a lot of value. In doing that, a lot of the guys all these years have always provided us a, a, a really fair rate to me so I can put this thing on. And so, you know, thank you to the guys. Uh, Mike Keys Outdoors has been phenomenal helping us support this. Gordon Brothers, Ben Olson, Kurt, those guys every year. It's a lot of work to bring this up here, all the stuff up here to try to make this part of the event. And you can't thank them enough, you know, for that. And not to mention Larry Ramsell, who, you know, really is. try to make this event a non-competitive event and the idea is to share information and one of the things we do as an example is we have people write their fish up on the board so people can go up see what the patterns are what they're catching on in addition to having the guides every night kind of give an overview of, of what what they saw that day we all learn by it you know it's not just fishing like vermilion our hope is everybody can gain information to fish whether in Canada Wisconsin wherever you're going you, you learn good information make you a better musky fisherman um, so this, you know, this, this year we've got some great presentations. We've got the DNR here. We've got two of our biologists on the lake that are going to give a great presentation to us. We've got also this year, if you remember from last year, Greg Fitch right here. He is an uh, electronic engineer, uh, electronics engineer. He last year gave a great presentation. This year he brought his tools. So if anybody has any issues with their boats as far as electronic rigging questions, He's already, Greg's already been in about three different boats and really made a difference for him. So uh, he's here all weekend with his tools. So all you got to do is let us know. In, you know, coming off the lake, you got a little time, tell us what's going on. Greg's here to help us. And he is also going to give us a presentation. covers right here. Styling. like holy cow that never happens and then we'd go back around and then he moved a different one and yeah. we're like, well, we don't know I don't know first couple we saw were I mean dark we were here I was here fish. we were here 10 minutes Third one we saw that was like bright white skinny almost right on the weeds again right on the weeds thrown as far out as we can and that's been, that's been the way you know slow and slow and slow and right before I get to the boat I'm like kicking it in and then they're coming up and they're like oh, right behind it you know so throwing that tough water yeah, I tr so I did throw that rats gun and pitched it on her after she came to the boat. Man, I never got her back up. But that thing's, I mean, man, is that a big fish. 
Brian and I would decide to make a move to the rocks. With really heavy winds the day before and dropping water temps, it seemed like a good call. Plus, nobody was fishing or focusing on the rocks. Came up like this, I just ripped up the dog and it missed it. Not a lot of boulders on this one. Yeah. We decided, you know, with all this nasty weather we've had the last couple days and water temperatures plunging, we thought we're gonna go and hit some rock reefs and uh, pounder time, baby, and uh, put on a pounder, worked three quarters around the reef here and just had about a 45 incher come up and miss my bait by inches, inches. Um, but we got an icon down on her. She was pretty aggressive, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, stick this fish. But oh my God, you worked so hard for that one bite, um, and that was a fish we were looking for—a a, a really nice musky here on Lake Vermilion. So we're gonna get back to work here. Gonna continue to throw pounders. He just put a pounder on. Um, and hopefully we got something going with this rocks. Maybe they're moving on the rocks. They're starting to get funky on the rocks with the wind and the cold and the uh, water temperature is starting to drop now. We've got 59 degree water temp. When we started two days ago, we had 63. So that is a significant uh, drop in water temp. So, gosh, the world of musky fishing, the life of a musky fisherman. Yuck. Still 15? There's fish. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm getting in there. I think my hit right when it hit the water. Right when it hit the water. Dude, I thought I was on a rock. I was just gonna say we're in 11 feet of water. She was on top of the reef, dude. Look where we're. Yeah. Oh, brother. We needed that. Good plan, man. Good plan. Let's stop these cameras. Well, you gotta love it when a plan comes together. Brian and I said, we just had two fish up on another reef. We were looking at this point here. 
like we said, we got to hit these windward side. The wind's been blowing, like Brian just said, uh, in the last interview. And uh, lo and behold, uh, we were working down the outside of the bar and I was like, I'm gonna throw on top. He's throwing the edge and this thing was in 11 feet of water on a pounder bulldog this time of the year. 59 degree water temp. These fish are, I think with this cold temperature, they're moving and staging on the rocks right now. Not a monster fish, but heck man, this is the future. This is the future of a vermilion right here. And when you see these 34, 36, 38 inch fish, that means five, 10 years from now, there's gonna be some awesome fishing here. And uh, definitely uh, it's gotta make Ed happy with the Vermilion Dam Lodge because that's their future as well. But let's get this girl unpinned here. Let's take a look at her and we're gonna get back to work. Whew, nice. So another cool thing guys that we've been using this past season is the Net Buddy. And this device is worth its weight in gold. Once again, two guys here, we're filming. Brian can run camera, I can work on this fish. It's got a swivel action to it so I can get close to the fish. Uh, what can I say about it, Net Buddy? If you guys, you need to invest in this. This is probably one of the most engineering, cool things that we've seen in the last uh, 10 years, especially for fishing. I mean, it just, it's now I can work on this fish and uh, we can film and do what we need to do to take care of this girl. Oh. There we go. Fish number two for us. Been seeing fish. Whole different day today. We're gonna stick with our game plan and uh, we're gonna make it happen. But what a beautiful fish. The smell of musky in the air. You gotta be happy with that. We'll let her off on this side here. What a fish. We needed this. We like them all, big or small. It's been a super tough bite. Though. Oh, really tough bite. And she says, I don't want anything to do with this anymore. Right on, brother. I'll tell you what, and that's what it is. A good partner, you guys can talk to each other, figure things out. It is a process of elimination. We were, we caught a fish in the weed. We lost a fish in the weeds. We seen some, but we were like, we gotta go. Everybody's fishing the weeds in this event. And we were like, we're not seeing anybody fishing these rock reefs. So it's pounder time, it's grind time, and it's slime time. Whew. Well, we've been concentrating on weeds. We caught a fish in the weeds. Some other guys were moving fish. We moved a few. But uh, Mike and I decided to try uh, some rocks. And the first uh, rock bar we hit, a wind blown. The winds were really heavy for one thing yesterday. We couldn't even fish them. But today the winds calmed down. And so we decided to fish some of these uh, mid lake rock humps. And the uh, first one we fished, we moved two fish. Mike had a nice mid 40s up and I had about a 40 up. So now we're just looking at the map and we're gonna look at all the humps similar to where we just seen those fish and um, knowing that the wind was coming out of the northwest yesterday. So we're gonna try to find any humps with the wind blowing on it from yesterday because the winds, we had like 30 mile an hour winds yesterday. So we're gonna check out those humps and see what happens here. But so now we're just gonna go through the map and kind of pick a few out and go hit them and see what happens here. Did you want to hit that cup around the corner or stay on rock? I don't know. What do you mean where the, all those fish were? That's some three? Yeah, where you took the bait out of the water. On oh, that one. I'm sure that got hit today, but... Probably. Huh? Probably. Because everybody seems to be like on a weed, you know what I yeah. mean? Especially in that era. Yeah. I say let's keep working reefs, dude. We're, we're moving fish. We just gotta get one more to bite. Oh, dude, nice one. Oh, get him, get him, get him. He's still right oh.
what just happened. Well, that was a bummer. Just had a fish up. We've been concentrating on rocks today, um, and we're doing very well. I mean, we're not getting all the fish in the boat, but we're seeing fish on a lot of bars here we're fishing. We just stopped through here, and I'm throwing a detonator. We've been throwing pounders. Fish have been coming up, so I thought, we'll maybe change it up and just slow roll detonator here, copper, rainbow. And I just had a nice 40 inch, low 40 inch class fish come up to it. I started speeding up. I could tell she was on speeding up with the bait and I came up just a little far like that and she just nipped some hair here. And uh, then, then pin her. And uh, it's like one and done in here. We see a fish, we don't see him again, so. But we're staying on the rocks. We're gonna concentrate on them because uh, they're on them. So hopefully uh, by the end of the day we can put something decent in the boat here. What can I say? We had a ton of action with some really nice fish that we had to the boat and still ended up putting two fish in the boat. Not bad. But more importantly, to be part of an event like this, 22 years of musky history is the part I like the most. Seeing good friends fishing on one of the most beautiful musky lakes I've ever fished, I really couldn't ask for anything more. And if you'd like to be part of next year's Vermilion Dam Lodge Larry Ramsell outing, just go to the website listed below.